Can you change your title and thumbnail without being punished by the algorithm? Yes, but that doesn't mean that changing your title and thumbnail can't hurt you because it can. And also the opposite is true. If you change your title from dog food container to best dog food container for under 20 bucks, it will help you to get more views. But if you change your title from best dog food container to best cat food container, it will probably hurt your views. It all has to do with metadata. To understand why and to determine if it makes sense for you to change your title and thumbnail, we need to take a look at what happens when you release a video. So it's time for the whiteboard. Whiteboard time, it's time for whiteboard time. <coughs> I just realized I miss my calling as a singer. When you upload a video to YouTube, this is a video and that video is about dog food containers. The algorithm looks at a couple of things and mostly in the processing phase. It looks at the title of your video, the description of your video, the thumbnail of the video. It looks at text in the thumbnail and it looks at objects in the thumbnail. It looks at tags, but that was before 2015. And it looks at the footage and analyzes all the frames in your video. It recognizes text, so the things you say in your video, also this video, and it recognizes objects in the video. Then YouTube attaches metadata to the video. For example, puppy, tail, tail, waggle, dog, food, dog, food, container. But there can be literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these search terms that are attached in the metadata to your video. This metadata determines to which initial audience that YouTube should suggest your video to once you release the video. So be super clear in your title, description, and in your thumbnail what your video is about. And I still see creators not filling out their video description. That is a huge missed SEO opportunity. I made a video about clickable YouTube titles, what you should put in your video description and how to make a clickable thumbnail. I will link these three videos in the description. Your title description and thumbnail at the time of release is what YouTube uses as a starting point for the discovery process. But after that, the algorithm doesn't look at your title description and thumbnail anymore. It is frozen. So you can change your title, your description and your thumbnail all you want, but the algorithm won't change its mind anymore about the metadata of the video. But that doesn't mean that it still can't hurt you. On release, YouTube starts to test the metadata. How is the clicks rate? How is the average percentage viewed? And how is the average view duration? For example, puppy, low average view duration, don't promote it anymore. Tail, low average view duration, don't promote it anymore. Tail waggle, low average view duration. Dog food, high average view duration, continue promotion for this term. Dog food container, high average view duration, continue promotion for this term. Once it knows what your video is about, it starts to generate related search term. What could be another word for dog food container? For example, dog bowl or canine bowl or canine food container. And it also starts to do tests with these search terms. This is why you sometimes rank for search term that you didn't include your title, description, thumbnails, or in the footage of your video. But YouTube goes even a step further. It looks at your audience and your audience that is watching videos about dog bowls, canine bowls, and uh, dog food containers, also watches videos about hedgehogs and starts to test if hedgehog is something that viewers are also interested in. If not, it kills the promotion for this search term. YouTube keeps testing metadata search terms and audiences to see if they react well. They do this in YouTube search, but also YouTube suggested. If it can't find the right audience, your video is dead. And dead videos are really hard to resurrect because the YouTube algorithm made up its mind People don't respond, so don't promote the video. Changing a title and a thumbnail on a dead video will almost never work. If your videos have a little bit of traction, even if it's not much, it's absolutely worth a shot to change your title and thumbnail, but it's still really hard. So back to the question at hand, can you change your title and thumbnail? Yes, if your video has some traction, but isn't that, but an absolutely no, a no, no, no go area if your video is performing well, because it can only get worse. But remember, when you change your title and thumbnail, you don't change the metadata of your video. Like I said, it's frozen. So 
Does changing a video title affect views? Oh, absolutely. But it depends entirely on how your audience reacts to your, first of all, your new title and thumbnail. Second of all, to your existing metadata search terms and to the related search terms that YouTube assigned automatically. If your new title and thumbnail lead to a higher or lower average percentage viewed, average view duration or click through rate, YouTube will adjust its promotion. For example, if you have a boring title like dog food container and you change that to best dog food container for under 20 bucks, then people are probably more likely to click on that video and then YouTube will adjust its promotion and your views will go up. But if you change the title from best dog food container to best cat food container, you won't all of a sudden rank for cat food container because it wasn't in your initial metadata. And YouTube has no incentive to test your video on a cat audience. So the video is probably going to be dead. If you want to rank for cat food container too, you should include it in your video title description, thumbnail, say it in your video before you release the video. So why do big YouTubers change video titles? Because they simply want to test if their audience reacts differently to their titles and thumbnails. They want to get more views and they want to get the most optimal configuration of title and thumbnail because more views gets them more ad revenue. In this case, I changed the thumbnail for this video. The video wasn't performing very well. The first signs look really good. This is the 48 hour graph, 24 hours after the change. I changed the thumbnail here and my views started to increase. Now let's look at the audience retention graph. I select a period before the change from here to here. It is about 19%. This video is a little bit longer, so, but it's still bad. Now let's look at what happened when I changed the thumbnail. The average percentage viewed dropped to 10%. You see that the audience retention graph shows worse statistics. YouTube has tested the video, hasn't found a positive result. That means that my views will go down. And that is exactly what happened. Now it is 24 hours later and we can see in our 48 hours graph that here is the increased amount of views and here my views went down again. When you change your title and thumbnail, measure the amount of increased views that a video got and the audience retention. I use a spreadsheet to track changes. This way I can see if the change has a positive or a negative effect. If you like, you can download this spreadsheet for free from my website, the link is in the description. If you want to change your title and thumbnail because you struggle with declining views, you should definitely check out this playlist right here about the topic. And I think that you will also like this video right here.